am I gorgeous? <laughs> You're gorgeous, Sarah. So Rara Bird herself, over 75 years of influence in fashion, interior design, oh. the icon Iris Appel. That's so nice to hear. Makes a girl feel like there's still a chance. Albert's never done fashion people, or I'm really, I'm not a fashion person. And I was worried sick they would make me look like one, which I think wouldn't be a fate worse than death. I don't have any rules, because I would only be breaking them, so it's a waste of time. I wanted to be me, and fashion is, I love very much, but it's just a small part of my life. Iris is an artist. What she uses all of her clothing and her accessories to do is compose a new vision. She looks very vulgar. People say one day I was hot and the next day I was cool. And we kept saying I'm not doing anything I haven't done for the last 70 years. Why all of a sudden? I was probably the first woman to wear jeans. Sounds crazy. It was. Maybe people have caught up to me. Maybe I was too far ahead. I get more kick out of this. It cost four dollars and change and if my husband took me to Harry Winston. It's not a dull marriage, I can tell you that. I think the segments with my husband were kind of fun. Their fabric company had done a lot of work for administrations in the White House. It started in Truman. We're not supposed to talk about the White House. They get very upset. But well, we had a problem with Jackie. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I first heard about uh, the project, and I really wasn't interested because I thought who would want to see a documentary about me. I could feel the pulse of her excitement about living. Mrs. Lohman, the original, said, you're not pretty and you'll never be pretty, but it doesn't matter. You have something much better. You have style. I really did it on blind faith because I didn't know what they were going to ask me, what I had to do, but they said they would be quiet and they would just sort of follow me around and I just left it all to them. Albert. Yeah. Would you like to look up to something? Yeah, uh, she's making me some tea. Mm. Is that okay? And that started the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You know why I think you did this film? Why? Because he's very handsome, and I think you, you really had a crush on him. Everybody does. I know. He was like a magnet. My God. And I'm so happy that I was able to do this with Albert as his final piece. It kind of brought him back to the world, and I, I know he was very he was very happy with it, and so that pleased me no end. I've never heard you say I don't like the way that person dresses. I can't judge. It's better to be happy than well dressed. <laughs> and people say that I inspire them, and I give them courage to do things they wouldn't have done before. I used to do things with antique bits and pieces, and. What I was so proud of was they looked like they were born that way. Mm -hmm. Perhaps through me, they can see that there's an afterlife after 30, and that makes me very happy. In the words of my grandpa, a woman is as old as she looks, but a man is never old until he stops looking. Look.